Hey folks, welcome back to Ostriff. Watching the, the new school being built and noticing that we have gone into full bloom on those two orchards. And yep, this one as well. So this will be the first year of our next round of orchards. Good. I was just watching the ending of Lord of the Rings Return of the King and you know, the scenes at the very end back in the Shire, and I turned this game on and thought, wow, this feels kind of like the Shire. <laughs> so much green, and yeah. Anyway, looks good. So, what is the plan for today? Hey, we're recording. Good. I like to check that just to make sure. Um, I don't know. I had to end last episode quickly. Since then, I've been in and out checking a few things, but today's been such a busy day that I don't remember what I checked. How we just, let's just, we'll wander through the town and take a look. We're down to 25% of the total there, so we're going to be collecting for another round of, of the lime kiln soon. You, only one person's working and got a cart being repaired. Um, otherwise, this one's processed. Moved into this one, that one, so there's three rounds so far. Um, I did notice that as soon as... Let's see, this one triggered in between episodes. It built as I was setting up something over there. Um, she immediately took off with her cart and went to go fill this up with firewood. So we don't need to deal with anything but worker by cart now. On the two warehouses down here with the firewood she will take off and go and do her thing though somebody else was already scheduled to, to bring some over here but that is happening she's just gonna keep making this run to fill herself up perfect so over here I did a few I, was, I worked through this a little bit we've only got nine logs so one off one on is not keeping up he's chopping firewood and they're stealing the firewood and they're burning the firewood a little faster than than that will work so I set it up for two on and one off so we'll go with the season like that three workers every looks like three times a quarter is probably the, the beginning and the end of each quarter is how it, I guess to word that one so we'll go with that one for a while what else did I figure out I that's one thing that I did we are getting really low on hay and May is the beginning of hay mowing season, we'll call it. That's happening right there. So I set up several more of these wherever I could find a place to squeeze one in other than right here. So seems like I found a spot here. We've got the, the tavern going in, but there was room on both sides to get one in there. Uh, right behind Town Hall, I got one in. And there's one more I got somewhere. There was one spot in the woods here, I think, that was just big enough for one. Like, a space like that. Where was that? No, not there. But it's here somewhere. And then I set up some more permanent ones along the perimeter out here to eventually install. Because these are a lot closer to the hay barn than these are over here. We have 1700 over here, so we're fine for here on this side. This is where most of the activity is, and we're down to 200 and some, but we should be filling up most of these. We actually do have quite a few laborers kind of roaming about now, moving in and out of jobs. But to make sure of that, I went ahead and did the same tactic with the small granaries, where I went through and gave them more of a sporadic. I noticed last episode that someone had gone home to collect the the crops from their garden in September. It wasn't an October thing. They were already doing it in September. So I decided to hire these ladies for September, October, and November. And then every third month otherwise. So that's the pattern now for all of the small granaries. Just in case others move in and do have something to sell on off times. So... And for those that are worried about me collecting raspberries instead of letting them make dried fruit, I, we never collect any raspberries anyway. There aren't enough of them out there. So that's not a concern on this map. 
Um, so a bunch more hay dryers. In fact, I think there were 19. Let me see here. If I were to just say apply to all, 16. So there's 17 hay dryers out there. Um, one comment that came in, it was regarding the other school, but it was, if we're going to put a fence around it, let's make an official entrance. And I kind of like that idea. So let's set you up. Kind of hard to gauge that. That looks pretty close. Let's go with that. And then you go away. You go away. And I think fence four. Yeah. Snaps two and snaps two. And snap two and where are you? You're kind of a bent, broken fence there, but I think I'll I'll live with that. Come on, let go. Yeah, that works. And then a couple episodes ago, I had run that fence to here, kind of built a block out of this area, give a little more space for the the uh, schoolyard, and ran into the corner of this one to stop them from walking through the you know, cutting through this corner. Um, we have room here either for something else or to extend the schoolyard. I just don't know what else to put in the schoolyard to make it look like a schoolyard. Not a lot of choices. We've got a bench. We've got a birdhouse. We've got a bell. That makes sense. Bell post should be out here probably at this point to uh, ring the bell when it's time for, time for school. Otherwise, that's as close as that got. I didn't get that close, did it? Okay, let's try that again. And copy you. Snap two, which is what I thought you did. Now the bell post is in the way. <laughs> okay, try that again. Come on, let go. And do that one more time. You. I thought I had snap two before. Okay. And then the bell. Somewhere in... Here, let's rotate you a bit. Make you touch right. Would that be better? Hmm. Now yeah, I guess that's the spot. I can't put it right over here where the teacher would ring it. So I guess we're going to be out here. Okay. So maybe we'll do something like that down here with this school. Which is happening. We've got a full complement of builders now. Two, three, three people and one going to work. So we're at that point. Now they won't get it done this time. Okay, yeah, some of this music does have shire qualities to it. Those woodwinds. You are angry because there's only one of you. Next month there'll be two of you. You still have nine logs to take down firewood, but there's no firewood to take down. You're, you're full. You are buying food. Hmm... We could hire another person to keep this person working. That's kind of tough there. Because um, I could use that person making hay. Let's force this one to make empty. So they'll... They don't seem to want to fill it again until it's empty. So maybe at that point it only makes empty when there is a... A uh, very high quantity of extra laborers. Maybe making empty is not one of the higher priority jobs. Filling them is, though. So filling these up and working in the farm seems to happen without asking. But once they're full of dry, it's hard to get them to, to work on it. So but she's putting in... She's got one more to accumulate. Mowing grass. Though, is she mowing grass for the same place? Or is she done? Click away and click again. Mowing grass. It's almost like she got reassigned to a different one. Huh. What's our cow shed worker doing at the moment? Going to work and mowing grass. Well, there's the answer from two episodes ago, I think. The cow shed worker will mow grass for hay if it's convenient and nearby. So now begs the question during mowing season, if we hire two more in, Will any of these do that? She has nothing left to thresh. Will she walk over and work on this one? Or this one? Somebody has. 
There's 50 and it's drying. Okay. So she is working by standing there. But if these two do hire, then maybe it is the second person that does the work. First person stays and works with the, uh, the, the, the building they're hired to do. Let's see. Undo you. And that was all that I had triggered. Okay. All right. So what else needs to be checked up on? We've got no trades going in. We're in May. We have a boat. How are the boats looking? Yeah, that one needs it soon. That one needs it soon. You guys are employed until October. So that should happen just fine. Um, what are you doing right now? You're going to work. So when you get to work, you'll probably pick one of those boats if they aren't out fishing and deal with that. Okay. So we've got five guys on a crew over here all 12 months of the year now. Is that working? We've got 114 logs in. And they're the primary ones that are going through all of these different places. Haydryer is not one of them. Let's pull you back. Um, I did do some things over here. Watching last episode while I was editing, I got to thinking... We've proved multiple times now that these houses can, in fact, primary school, reach the markets over here. Where are they? Right there. They can reach them. We don't need another market. So I went ahead and pulled all of that out and all of the storage in the area and put in two more houses over here. We get one more over here when all of this stuff goes away. I did pull the well out so that I could do this. I need to figure out where to put the well back in. Is it just into the the pathway there, or is there a better way to do that? We do come short over here, so it makes sense that we could do something like that. We could. Let's see. It would actually be more like that if it's parallel to the road. Yeah, we could do that. And I think put that in a little bit sooner. That could be the next project. Uh, you guys are all here right now. All the materials are there and getting... F yeah, it looks like a lot of them are on their way to work. Good. So there's that. We have a school. <clears throat> and we need to hire. Let's see if there is somebody qualified nearby. We are at 187 population. So we're not far from getting a barber surgeon, at least qualifying for one, and a tavern. So, right after the well, let's get the tavern going. Okay. So, we'll be in place when that happens. You guys have dried completely? No, you're almost there. You. When that hits, I'll go ahead and trigger to empty. And see if we can get, get one more round in here. We were at 2-something. We're now at 3-something. Let's see if we can be at, be at at least 15-something soon. You are dry. Make empty. You drying. Yeah, these aren't brown enough yet. Uh, I'm trying to think of where else. You're there. So these make it now? Yeah. Oh, that's being done. Cool. But we'll make this one be done just for sure. Okay. So they're going to do that. Did this hire? It did. Going to work. Taking a rest. Ah, someone's been working here. And taking a rest, going to work, taking a rest. Laborers have made it out all on their own. Supplying water, taking a rest, going to work. Okay, let's see if the going to work works on the hay. If not, then I will undo that. I had someone write in to say that both the farm workers and the cowshed workers will, in fact... Um, do the hay. So, let's see. Any more flags around? I want to. That one's done. Slow down. And this one never came back for it, so let's make that happen. Okay. You. Yep, we'll make you happen. So, we can min-max this a little bit just to, just to make it work until we have such an overwhelming quantity of 
unhired people needing jobs that they will find the jobs on their own without having to coerce them but we've got a few more houses in now so we're starting to see this this all starting to happen automatically again okay working and working you're all just sitting there and nothing's happening okay you are a laborer no you work at the farm are you here you're there okay so working nothing's happening working nothing's happening and all three are in there okay so that answers my question back down to one these folks are not interested there are plenty available to work with well one is the laborer is working there laborer there nobody there and nobody there so there were two available at the time that those three were standing there not doing anything so I think that was enough for me to accept that that uh, <clears throat> that may not be a thing um, we did get a trader come in you are doing that work there and you can also be set it's being done on its own though but this just kind of guarantees it so I like the guarantee part all right so who's in here we have Blacklia. Blacklia, 15 days left iron iron did arrive where are you it's only 600 left we're at 2700 we only have room for a thousand in there but we can leave some sitting in here so let's just get ahead on the iron let's buy another five Buying sheep, lime. What is lime in town right now? There you are. Nine nine thousand. Whoa. Okay. We don't need to buy lime again for a long time. Alright. Buying charcoal, buying nails, buying stone. Selling. Flour. There's a thousand in there. Let's sell six hundred of it deal drop 600 in here temporary uh, sunflower oil is a thing now potatoes are not and dried fish are not sunflower oil is let's do a thousand of well 935 of that deal sunflower oil 935 and what do I want temporary is that it do we have clothes for this one we do and we have none in town so we got to go check that out see what's going on so clothes we need to check out leather none for sale metal parts horse tack horse tack we still have just the 12 so let's check that out as well honey none so we could probably stand to buy some more honey we don't have a lot of of homes that have honey in their yards so what do we want here stop emptying and no more of those stop emptying symbols and out over there none as well all right so what is going on with clothing right now we did it is June and you guys are not working because I also gave you some of the months off to make sure that we had enough people to get all the hay in okay so that also has something to do with why we have enough laborers to even make it out here now we might get these crops hauled in pretty good this time I mean we've got quite a few more people living around here it's not that yeah these aren't folks that came in new and added to our population but they are now living where the jobs are so there's a net gain there no matter how you look at it so I'm never concerned that a young couple marries and starts a, their own home and in their own family. That's, that's always a good thing. Okay. So you two need to be emptied. Nobody is filling again, but I don't know if we have any need for it. I mean, charcoal is stored here. We're full. Charcoal is stored here. And I added two more, so we're full. Um... <clears throat> There was a little bit here. We're full. Nobody's buying it, and we're not using it. And we don't have need for the bricks, so we're not using it there. We could 
we're fully employed, so we're using it here as fast as we can. Though we could instead use firewood here and get this place emptied out that much sooner. There is that. Okay, let's do that. No more charcoal over here. And we'll make this a firewood user. So, delete. Yeah. And done. Okay, so, yeah, it doesn't tell me here. We were pretty high, you know, full of our inventory anyway. Thousand salt. More salt than we know what to do with. And where else is salt stored? It's over here for the tannery. And we're full. Only a thousand over here. We didn't have any salt down here, right? That was bricks and... Oh, bricks and salt. There's 5,000 over here. Okay, so we're just about peaked down on salt, too. You guys don't buy salt. No. Okay. All right. So I think that's all figured out. Now back to here. When we do hire this again, we have the hemp in place. And we'll be hiring two people. We could do more. We could. Since we're not running them as often, then let's run more people for when we do. All right. So that's going to come in and fast. And there are already two here. Let's go for a third here as well. I didn't cut these folks down as far. Died of old age. You were there. You're now... here and I want to say this one yeah no what am I missing there maybe you just arrived you arrived in 27 no and you started working on a market stall and I guess you've been there ever since I never fired you <laughs> you must have been at one of the stalls that did not have perish or that had perishable goods that must be it. Okay. Um, let's see here. You are ready. You're only 200, but nothing else will happen until that 200 goes away. So let's make empty. And you make empty. Okay. And what else did we hire over here? We did. And we have two kids from over here. People, you live in that house. And you live in that house. So these kids apparently did not reach that other school. Interesting. You live over here, so we can reach that neighborhood. Good. And you, right over there. There. Oh, you do live over here. But this school, they're, well, they're, they're over here. Huh. I mean, some of them are further away, but it's working. We've now got four and eight instead of just eight. So there's a benefit there. Okay, so you are making empty any others that I can eke out of this. Stop emptying. Down here, you're ready to go. Uh, you are not. I did sneak one over here. Stonewell is in. So these folks now have close by water. Good. There's still two more houses? Three more houses. Let's see here. Can I squeeze you in now? I can. So spin you around. F1. Whoa, that goes in quick. Try that again. You're there. You are about there. You're back a little. I had... Actually, there's almost enough room to leave you right in the middle. Though, I would think you'd want to face the, uh, the orchards down there. Let's push you against the back wall. And... Let me zoom in a bit. Yeah. And you'll get three crops out of that. Okay. You're there and enter. And you head in, oh, somewhere around here. Okay. We are in July. We should be, let's clear these guys. See if we can get just a little more going. How much did we fill this, by the way? Ah, uh, this one. 
So we're up to 2,800 and, and growing. Great. Out of 7,000, though. So we can take a lot more. Um, what was I going to check up on? Orchards. So hired cherries and at least a third done already. Maybe closer to half. You hired apricots and a half done over there. Over here, <clears throat> two are in, but it doesn't look like anything's happened, so you must have just gotten here. You're harvesting a tree. You are harvesting a tree. Uh, these two rows, and, and we're right here. Okay, and we are... We're still only a week in. I think we're going to be fine. We just did these two. We're probably over here next. Should see them disappearing on the tree. Speed it up again. Unless you're no longer working. No, you're still harvesting. Yep, it's working its way through. Okay. Yeah, I think they're going to be done just fine. Two workers here and, th and one on, one over there. Good. That happened. So, next is the tavern. And they are filling up supplies for the tavern. Uh, right there. And any more of those symbols? Should be one over here soon. Uh, you... I guess I got you already. And they're starting to fill them back up again. Yep, there is a way. If you catch it early enough, if you don't run max speed and get distracted until everything starts to, you know, collapse and, and explode on you, you can catch things in time and avert crises, which we always seems to seem to manage to do. So, uh, July, August, we start next month harvesting one person over here uh, you could be emptied if there's still time same with you and same with you okay those are going did any of these yep you did as well you're still drawing that one went in this one went in really make empty you guys are up to 129 logs now wow You've got 2,200 hay in you. You are just ready to tick over. There you go. Really make empty. And we're going to be stuck. I'm kind of surprised that we're still stuck here. We were... Are we ahead by just two? We're ahead by two. <laughs> A child has been born. All right. Let's pull... Though I don't know which one it was. Horse tack was over here. Let's pull in horse tack. Uh, horse tack 10. Just to pull it out of that inventory over there. <laughs> that should be one of you guys going to get it. Probably you. Um, there. Now I can see you. Although you're taking a rest. You could be as well, but I think it's you. I'll watch that happen. Then we'll go and clear that other hay rack over there. You're going to grab that, and finally, that symbol's gone. It's been there for the last two or three episodes. Okay, you undo. And these soon, but they'll be the last ones worked on. You as well. And our hay apocalypse, I think, has been averted. Okay. So, how are we doing as far as dried fish? We never seem to get a lot in. I'm not really sure why that is. They're the only ones that can do both the fishing and the drying. Nobody else can. I wish we could hire in a fish dryer. But we also, they do it in batches of 50. So now somebody be available. Does it say fishing, going to work, taking a rest? So I assume the going to work is going to walk in and immediately start working on those 50. Yep. Yeah. Right? Reserved 50. Salting fish. Okay. So you did do it. There's still more coming in. but So that's how it works. You just They bring in what they can and they salt it. Okay. And in between. Does it say that in here? <clears throat> Somebody's reserved 50. I assume it's the 50 that went into here. But could also be a, you know, a market stall or somebody. Who's got fish down here? Right there. And you have reserved 
No, you're awaiting 41. So that must have come out of the other one. Must have been a awaiting 56. It was in there somewhere. Um, you actually do it too, right? Yeah, we have fish up in here. There's a hundred fish up in here. Ah, let's pull that out now. Let's pull that out. I'm pretty sure that these ladies can get something out of here. I've seen them come down to one of the two and reach it. So let's leave the hundred in here to be salted. Okay. We were trying to build up food reserves, but I think we're we're in a pretty good place now in regard to food reserves. How are the wells doing? You're only a third available. There's one over here somewhere. You are less than that, so we are taxing our wells pretty good over here. So where would we... August, we get the harvest going. Where would we drop another well? There and here are two convenient places. I'd say somewhere at the end. Maybe down in here, but... Will it tell me when I'm too close? It will not. So, not until you build it. Only low quality water available. So, that goes away really quick. I thought it was, a, you know, at least up this far away. Is it just because it's low land over here? Is it an elevation thing? I wonder. So, over here, we go back about that far. Over here, it's a lot further. It's an elevation thing. Look at that. Okay, this is all low land. This, this right there, we're okay. Ah, so that explains how that works. It is an elevation thing. Okay, so where to put you in regard to where I might want to grow later? What happens out over here? Nothing will mount on the shore over here. But... And I wanted to take a look over here. Nobody is hired on by themselves. Okay. So let's slowly crawl over here. Undo these two. You are emptying on your own. But I can say stop emptying because that's already in progress. Okay. So there were a lot of people already assigned to hay dryers. I'm going to guess that. These crops are ready. Those crops are ready. Over here, we've got... I'm going to throw one more in. Hit a hit an 8. Right there. Get these done quickly and be done. And then they'll be off doing other things. These... We're going to get some over here, but not a lot anyway. So what happens there happens there. And I'm really wondering... Although we've got quite a few houses now and three more on the way, but... Should I... Hmm. Which one? Should I eliminate one of these two fields and move the farm over? I'm thinking here. Should the farm be sitting here? Is it possible? Uneven terrain. Yeah, we could put it right there if we wanted to. And then either it's a smaller field... I guess at that point I could just delete all the fields and just realign all these. I could. I might do that this right after this August, after this uh, uh, the season is done. Take this out, build it, and start moving everything over. And see if by next March I can rebuild three fields. And see if this eliminates this problem which is becoming less of a problem now that more people are moving in but eh, we'll see it is still kind of the last resort that somebody actually go there Marifa how you do you buy flour you buy sunflower oil yeah I'm gonna leave that dried fish no you buy lime You do buy lime, but ours is limited. It really is. I'm going to end up buying it again later by the time we expand more row houses and whatnot further away. So I'm going to say no. We'll keep storing that. Flour, um, sallow chicken eggs are a no. Horseshoes, salt. Ah, you're the salt buyer. Okay, you only want 37.77 though. 
Okay, well that kind of answers the question for me then. First of all, deal. And move in to here. It was Marifa. Yeah. 3777. I think I got that right. Click first. And temporary. And 3777. Okay. So that is selling to you. Iron metal parts, flax. There's nothing more to sell to you. Okay. Buying from you. Wheat? No. Honey? Yes. Let's... Let's just do it all. We won't be buying that again for a long time. Textile, broadcloth. We are now back to being low on broadcloth. And we won't have the fulling mill up for quite some time. And the amount it takes to make broadcloth from wool and make sheepskins from wool, we're never going to have enough to make our own. I just don't see that. Not, not the way I'm going to play it. I'm not going to have a map with 17 sheep farms. I'm not maxing out any industry like that. I'm not going to, not going to overachieve. The whole point here is to get everything built and see it happen in a harmonious, balanced way. Let's buy 1,000 and deal. And then when Barvinkove comes back, we'll get a thousand sheepskin. So, horse, broadcloth, textile, honey, wheat, hemp, live chickens, I think we're done. Okay, so that's finished. And moving over the salt. Yep, it's all coming in. Well, it's, it's, it'll be here. All right, so that's happening. Um, this is all happening. We're right there. We've only been working for less than a week by the time it actually switched over. So, and I wonder... The harvest isn't August 1, it's August, I don't know, 4 or 5, and it takes these guys 3 or 4 days to figure out what they want to do for a job next. I wonder if that timer is built into it for this very purpose of having them available just as the harvest starts. I don't know, that way you can grow those, those few more days while there still aren't any workers available until they've all taken their rest. That could be. But... Answered my question earlier, I said that and then didn't continue. We don't need much more salt. We could mothball this thing. No, we can't because we still have oxen in there. What do you do with that? One person can't do it. I'm down to two people. Um, they don't have to be here except to make sure that this is going, though. So we could every other month it. And then they'd top things off. We could also say, well, where is it? There it is. Labor by cart in hand. And then March. Unfortunately, March and August don't align if you do every other one. You know, it's there, there, there. I want them available for March. So I guess we'll double up there. March? Yeah. And we'll do that. So they're going to get five months off. And I think it'll still be enough time to handle this and or the laborers can keep up with this. And keep the oxen alive. But we, we, we're we storing salt all over now. And we can't sell it fast enough. And we don't need it. Don't need that much. So I think that is a better way of dealing with that. Now... August, September. These are good for one more month. So let's make empty one more time everywhere that we can. So I think they haul and... Oh, that's right. I have to do it that way. Um, now that is really hard to notice. I click and, and walk away and forget that it, a, a message popped up. But I think it's it goes until the end of September to uh, uh, continue mowing more hay. So this one year... Let's just go crazy on the uh, on the hay collecting. At the very least, we could have another group of it sitting on the racks through the winter. Okay, you're taking care of that. You're pulling 400 out at a time. There's a cart. Look at the carts. They're going to go collect the hay. <laughs> okay, hay over in this area. Did it happen? You're filling. 
Okay, did not happen over there anymore. Um, harvest is happening here, but still it's... Oh, I'm running on slow, so it's taken them a while at this many. But I didn't want to tap any more in case some were actually qualified to come out here. So... They are off for two months. They are. It really is the other farm that needs it. Okay. Working a field. I guess all these will be. There's no taking a break for laborers. Once they're done, they, they, they go home and then they rehire to a different job. So in that case, can I right-click on anybody? I can't. So all I can do is just take the number down. Let's take you back down to six. Oh, and as they finish, it will drop. Is that right? Gathering harvest from the field. Let's see that happen. So it doesn't fire the mid-process. That's interesting. Kind of wish you would do that for all the other jobs, too. Get rid of a worker, but if they're in the middle of something, let them finish what they're working on. Um, though I think it kind of does that anyway. For the most part, they don't just instantly change their mind. Unless they're a builder and you change the order... And they, then they do stop instantly. We've seen that happen. All these carts of supplies suddenly turn around and leave. And like, no, 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 no. Just, just finish that job. Okay, you're drying. You can leave. Okay. Um. I feel like there's one more somewhere that I snuck in to the woods someplace, and it just barely fit. Not you. Not out here. Maybe it was, and then it was here, and then I deleted the the markets and the the granaries and all that, and reworked it, and then I got rid of them, right? Because it wasn't there, it wasn't there, it wasn't in there, it was there. There you are. That's the one I'm thinking of. Okay. Um, that all of you? Let's get you going. And if I leave that up, yep, someone grabbed it immediately. There are a lot of folks that are still off and there aren't they can't reach the jobs over here nobody's over here now oh come on guys I guess it's because I re-enabled all the hay dryers probably yeah though and the hay dryers are 120 percent of wages as well as the laborers out here well I could try now I know I set this for 120 I know I did so, that's twice now that I've come back here and it reset on its own. I never changed it on the other side because there was nothing to change over there. Oh, but I might have changed something in here and then applied to all. I guess that's possible. So let's do... You guys are fine. In fact, you guys are hiring on your own. Without any incentive, but we did fill this. Now, I can't fill any more? Seven. No, no, no. Stop that. What the heck? You go to... Yeah. Apply to all is a little dangerous if you aren't really thinking at the moment. Okay. You're done. Your problem is what? A tiny bit of extra iron. Okay. Well, that won't last long. Okay. Any other hay dryers? No. You need water and you're fine. You guys just need another worker, but, and we are starting to move firewood. Everybody who is, yeah, this is going to be fine until it all gets filled. And then there's nowhere to put that charcoal. And then we're done. Uh-huh. But for a little bit longer, we'll get full use out of this. Dare I move any more over here? I really don't because we're, we're kind of filling up. And sometimes I want to buy something and let it just sit here until I use it. You know, the stone's still sitting over here. Now, I could put more stone in the stone storage. Yeah, there is that. Um, labor by cart and carter for those. And I guess for these. I could open those jobs up. Do that and empty this out. Then we can kind of get started in here again. Yeah, there is that. Okay. All right, so 
What else needs to be dealt with? There's one builder left on duty right now. He's doing his best to get that, that tavern finished. Uh, population of 190. We're almost finished with this one. And you guys are actually getting something accomplished over here. You are. And when this one finishes, we should see all these folks available. But only certain ones of them will reach to there. Which is another reason, I think, to move this guy to here. More will qualify. And there's a lot of... That span right there, wherever that limit is, you know, say if it's right here, there's a lot of houses that build up in that same amount of space that suddenly qualify to work over here. So, I think I'm going to do that. Farm's going to go in this corner, and then we'll delete all the fields, and we'll build three more fields, extending us a little bit further out. And maybe the hay goes away, or it goes away as we fill these up. Um, dare I? Let's do one more round. Just to really max out the potential for hay. Okay, those are done. We have so many people unemployed right now. Let's just say thank you. There. You don't look done. No. But you... Yeah, you're ready. Nope. 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 Okay. Alright, well, we're almost done with field number two. That's good. Um... Space in here, we're still fine, so we can store quite a bit in one of these farms. Uh, water and hay is good. You're just mothballed until it's time to, to deal with you. And that's well, a few more houses from now. You are almost done. Get you out of here. Really make empty. No. Yes. No. Boy, you're so close. <clears throat> there we go. Really make empty. And... Really make empty. And... I did you already? I did. Which one was it? This one. You're still going. Okay. You're done. You're done. More of those symbols? Nothing yet. <clears throat> you can go away. You can go away. Where'd we where'd we end up over here? We are we're maxed. We're at seven thousand. It worked. Okay. We've got hay for several more years. Now that we have fallow fields for everybody. Stop emptying. Messenger from Panatine? Panatine? Hmm. <laughs> Slow down. So we don't see them very often. Let's see what they offer that's different. They want to sell salt, iron ore, honey, mead. Mead. Let's do a thousand mead and get it in stock. Actually, that's not that much. It's only 10 cents. We're not going to be making ours for a long time. Let's get 2,500 in. And deal. And store it where? That's what I mean by I don't want the trader maxed out. You can still hold a lot. So mead. 2,500. And yes. Okay. So that will be heading into there. 5,000 buckwheat slated for there as well when that eventually happens. I'm running slow so I can take my time here. Window glass and dried fish. Sunflower oil you want. Flour? No, we're down to 300 because we kind of started staggering the uh, the laborers up there in the flour mill to give them a chance to relocate. I can undo that now. Clothes are a no, but at least we have 30 now. We have a lot of town or warm clothes. I don't know if buying materials and then making warm clothes 
is a profit to sell the warm clothes. That's a lot of stuff being bought. So I haven't taken the time to go through the numbers. I'm going to say we're going to keep that. Maybe at some other point we will stop and just not need to buy any more of anything. Onions, we don't have any. Carrots, we probably don't have any. Apples, no. Whoa, we have a thousand apples. And they're, yeah, I've got to make sure that gets into the markets, all of them. Oh, yeah, they're all going to be rotting. Okay, um, well, let's get rid of 500 of our apples right now. So deal and grab the river trader and put in apples 500 and just temporary stock that i don't want to buy from the the uh, locals will i don't want it stored in two different places okay i yeah pause for a second let's stay paused for a second too many things i want to do in the next week so undo you um i want to know if we're selling fruit, and I don't think we are anymore, we've trade, we've, we've added other goods. Yeah, and there's no room. Okay, so peas we are not a thing right at the moment, but for part of the year they are. Same with carrots and onions. For part of the year they are. So, not sure exactly how to deal with that. We kind of outgrown our market. So we need to extend that market somehow. Which isn't impossible. It would take some time, and probably more time than I want to put into this episode, which is 50 minutes into it. I could put eight in here, extend this out, have it go to the edge of that with an official walkway entering it from here from here so right here put an archway move that over realign it a little bit and come in here yeah so I might do that after this episode is over for the moment though let's go ahead and trade out oh let's see marrow for apples and cheese which we never ended up making for apricots and you garlic potatoes fish beef these are all likely possibilities so not you and I guess it's gonna be onions for right now yeah onions for cherries okay and let's do the same thing up here real quick um, what we actually have in stock Let's go this route. Apples a thousand, well five hundred. Apricots are not listed; they're already gone, or I had nowhere to put them. I don't know. Cherries are not there either. So whatever happened? I mean, we haven't already rotted, right? July, August, September—that's that's only six weeks. There's no way. Um, nobody's hired there, and nothing's sitting in stock. So, where did they go? Apples and cherries are right here. Cherries are gone. Apricots are not there. Were they over here? But that's only buying from the locals. So that's not a thing. So, were there stalls over here buying those things? Somehow, they got into the system here. So, what do we have around here? Um, none of you. No. And no. Okay, well, it's just apples then. So, in that case, apples can replace what? Horseradish onions I guess you're gonna replace I guess horseradish for the moment because there isn't any okay apples all right turn you back on get that going let's what all right so all that is happening you need more food variety now I know you can reach 
So it's just a matter of you going and get it. I see you're going to buy honey right now anyway. Um, money's wise, though, you are hurting. Uh, we've got five coming in, so we have two jobs. Um, you are the last person... No, these, these three were the last three to move into here. So soon they're going to be selling their crops. But until then... Let's leave them be. I think they'll be fine. Okay, so we are still selling to you guys. 500 is going to be on its way. Yeah, there they are right there. All right, so buying from, selling to, that's what we're doing. Lime and beer. Okay, so meat's coming in, and that is it. Okay, so we are at 3,000, and 250 is leaving. So 200 is leaving, so we're at 2,800. Okay, so that's you. Speed it back up again. <clears throat> Gonna be shutting this down soon, but what else needs to be thought through? All right, I think this is maybe... Well, I did that to help with the the hay. That's what I did. Okay. Let's get you guys hired back in a little bit more. August, September. You are here. Oh, September. Yeah. Because this might hire people from this area, which in September would still be nice if they could be hired over here instead. Which is why I did that. It is these guys that are actually doing this, and these ladies are working inside threshing. Yeah. So, yep, August and September, this still needs to be not hired. Okay. So, but we can rehire these two to make sure that we are doing fine over here same thing though I don't think the third one is necessary now I don't think we can keep up with them okay where is the oh the broadcloth arrived and 100 of it's been moved that's why the difference okay all right then um 500 500 we're, we have no danger there what's sitting in storage over here of our 1,000, 4,000, and 1,000, we're still fine. Though this is going to be a problem, so let's change you to 2,000. Okay. So, on horse tack, we never got back into there. So, how are, first of all, you doing? We've got lots of leather, and you are also doing the... Although, you were supposed to be hired in September. We just moved to October. And I got rid of you in October. Why? I think this is a remnant of that three episodes ago where I tried to get that second farm working properly. So two people are going to be hired on. Okay. Uh, there's 175 and it's leaving. Okay. So you guys, we have goods. You are hired for... I pulled you out of July to help out with the orchards, but that's probably not really a thing. So that's you now. And I don't think we need to make this very fast. Don't think so. Metal parts, horse tack, and leather. And this horse tack hasn't moved. I called for 10. Why did that not immediately move down here? We do have more than 10. I thought we had 12. I guess I'm wrong. Okay. Well, in that case, let's put 20 over here. And that should trigger here real soon. Someone over here is going to go get it. Right there. Okay. So, where are we now? We are finishing up over here. We still have a few laborers available. So, I think the woes at this farm are starting to fade. We just had to get more housing over here and or we had to relocate people. Speaking of relocating people, stop emptying. Um, you guys don't need relocating anymore. Wherever you work, and it's not that easy to have to click on each one. You're now as close as you're going to be, but we could still use you for one month at a time. Do we continue that for these guys? 350 plus wheat. 47! Whoa! Okay, we've actually gone through a whole bunch of wheat. Now we did just get some. But yep, yeah, we'll let them take a couple months off and he may still run out of wheat before it's all over okay so we're done filling up the 
the uh, hay dryers now, not mowing season. No point in emptying anymore. We are full here, and we're probably trying to haul the other stuff clear over here, which is almost full. So hay is now no longer an issue. We're fine there. And we're just about ready to finish off this harvest for real. We still have people working on it. We still have a lot of people working on it, which is odd. Normally there's a certain amount per field. There's only three fields and one's completely done, unless that counts. That counts. Okay. Someone's still got to haul those in. But this lady here is going to finish the row, right? No, she's... Is she checking in? She's working. She's threshing. You're going to finish the row all by yourself. Impressive. Okay. So we're just going to hire in enough now to go and haul all, in all the things. And then we should be down to... October... We're down to one here soon. Is that what we need? 1,200 potatoes. We've got 177 of these left. And 290 of these left. And the threshing's done. So when October is over, we'll go back to one person just to maintain the farm. Okay. Same thing over here. October's when it ends. We have a lot more to do here, though. Uh, the 840, the 903. And that's it. And one person in all winter long to do the rest of it. I think we're going to be okay. Lots of storage space left. Nothing here has a rot bar on it. So nothing here is going to go bad. Okay, we do have a lot of potatoes over here though. Uh, 1,400. It's going to be quite a while before they start to rot. There's a whole bunch heading this direction. Do you have potatoes? You don't. Do you have potatoes? No. Who's got potatoes that 300 are moving? No. No. I guess there's three stalls hauling 100 each. Or something like that. Huh. Uh, October, everyone is selling their goods. There's raspberries. We have brought in these. And nothing more. Any... Thing to add no house is finished and a couple of married so we're back working over here again good you did get placed you did and hay dryers are coming up as far as as things to work on next chicken coop there's the house let's put you there make sure that you get worked on next okay so i am yeah i'm, I'm at that time to stop anything else left to check out the boats got repaired and got repaired enough this one will get worked on next spring charcoal is in all of them this one almost got finished and we still have a laborer to do that she did fill up with firewood he okay somehow that got switched over I had thought for sure that I had eliminated that apply to all and you are full. You are full enough. Four more hunters coming in. You are lime. You're emptying this place as they make it. You are charcoal. You're full. You are still out there bringing in the goods. These have never had anything brought over. Limestone and stone. We... Labor by cart and by carter. So that's all good. But it is kind of further away. So they're still tackling other closer jobs, maybe. Okay. So in between episodes, I'm going to rethink the two market areas. Expand them, expand them a little bit. Which is just a lot of tiny little tinkering here and there. And then maybe eliminate some of these guys and think about repositioning things. Um, either plan out the fencing or do that next time. And that's about it. That's all, all the fire's out. I think it is. All right, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.